Hello, everybody, and welcome to this video, where today we are having a glass of wine, and we're going to talk about why you have such low fucking self-esteem. <laughs> okay, let me redo that. Today, we're going to talk about why you don't have much faith in your writing. Okay. Close enough. That's what we're going to do today. I want to make this clear right off the bat. I was inspired to do this video today, or tonight. It's late as, oh, it's actually tomorrow already. What do you know? I was actually inspired to do this video today because the other day I had a uh, mentorship call that I do with some of you and something came up. It was something that I've heard many, many times from people who I've done these sessions with and stuff like that. But this one was a little bit different because there were things put down and kind of listed out. And you'll understand what I mean in a minute here. First off, I want to thank the person who I'm using as an example here, but I want you to know I'm not gonna name you and I don't expect you or even think you should like leave a comment under this video saying, oh, he's talking about me, blah, 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 blah. You don't have to do that, okay? I'm gonna try to generalize this as much as possible. And even though I'm gonna say some very specific things, I'm not gonna mention your name and I'm not gonna talk about you. But I need you guys to understand that when you guys write me an email about something, you guys leave me a comment about something, or you book a session with me, if something comes up that I think is going to be super beneficial to all the viewers of this channel, I'm going to do a video about it. And that's not to be shitty to you. It's because what you're talking about is something that I've seen in a lot of people. And so people need to hear about it. I hope you're not upset about this. Um, I hope you're super chill with it. And honestly, you should feel pretty good that like you made something so fucking clear that before I couldn't figure out a way to piece it together to be able to help everybody. If that makes any sense. I don't know. I hope it does. I've been drinking, guys. Come on. I'm having this session. Okay. The um, person who I'm having the session with says that they want to put a chat book out, but they want to just like give it to everybody and not charge for it and all this other stuff. And I'm like, oh, that's kind of cool. Like a good way to like get your name out there and all this other stuff. But when we got down to it, the reason why he wanted to give it away is because he didn't think that what he did was worth people giving money for okay so he already told himself that this thing he wants to pursue is not worth it to people okay i've heard a lot of people say things along those lines Okay. And this isn't just about writing. This is about just art in general. I know people who paint that don't feel comfortable charging for their pieces. I know people who uh, write music, put their music out for free because they don't feel like anyone should have to pay for it. Now, there's a couple things here. One, if you feel that way, you have to find out why you feel that way. If you feel that way because you are very altruistic and you don't think anyone should pay for anything ever, um, whether it's art or needs or anything like that, then that's like a really awesome way to think, okay? And I wish you all the best. If there's any way that you can push that through to the masses, that would be fucking amazing. Let's all live in Star Trek IV utopia. You know, like, I'm, I'm all there with you, okay? But if you feel that way because others have told you that you're not good enough or 
people have said those things like don't quit your day job make sure you have something to fall back on do that as a side thing um, things of that nature then that's another thing and then going even further is if you don't think you're good enough not that your skill isn't good enough but that you personally aren't good enough that you don't deserve to be paid for for your art if that is the thing then that is definitely something that you need to talk about either with other artists or with a therapist or anything like that okay because that is like a deep rooted thing that isn't just about your art that is a complete self-esteem thing okay and how you view yourself all right so moving through this i thought it was strange that this person felt awkward asking money for their work because this person has been writing for work for years as a journalist and as a copywriter okay so when that came up he was like yeah but like that's that's not like really like art that's like just you're writing this and then you're like like describing this and all this other stuff i kind of let that one hang for a little bit and then i asked i'm like okay so why are you trying to do this if you don't think your stuff is worth people paying for now don't get me wrong like being an artist you're an artist no matter what like if you have that in you you will create regardless but trying to build a business around your art and then stating that you don't think people will find value in your work that's a big red flag for your business plan right out of the gate and so he was like oh yeah like i can see how this could be a problem <laughs> And then he said, well, I guess what I was hoping was that I would put this first one out for free. And if like, and I'm paraphrasing this completely, but it was like, if people validate me and like say that it's good and mean it, then I could put out another book that I charge for. And, um, you know, people will probably buy it at that point. I'm like, oh, okay, so you really are just looking for validation that you're good, like above anything else. So that is the kind of crux. And then something else came up and I'm going to get to in a minute. But being told you're good, the validation that you think you're going to get, I'm going to let you in on a little something here. People have been telling me my stuff's good for years Okay, I still have that doubt that like every once in a while, like, oh, I'm not good enough. I can't do this. Like, what, what am I thinking? What am I doing? I'm not good enough. No matter how many people tell you that you're good, all of that validation you're seeking isn't going to do a damn fucking thing if you can't get that through up here that you're good. Like, I've said this a hundred times, like, you have to be your biggest fan. You have to 100% believe in your talent and in your ability. You have to believe that, okay? Like, you could put out a hundred chapbooks and a hundred people get it and a hundred people tell you you're great. But if you don't think that here you're never going to believe those people. You're going to come up with excuses. Oh, well, you know, I know them, so they're probably just saying that to make me feel better. Or, oh, well, this person, like, I was talking to them, so they probably felt like on the spot and they had to say something nice. And then it'll even go so far as like, oh, that person who left me that five-star review, they were probably just going, oh, there's not many reviews. I feel sorry for the guy. Let me just write a nice review. 
Now, those of you listening to this right now or watching this, and you are a writer and you put stuff out, you have said these things. Okay? This is not an isolated thing. This is something we all do. And we don't have to do that at all. Okay? All we have to do is become our biggest fan up here and in here. And once that happens, once that like switch over, and again, this isn't like it switches and it clicks and it'll never go back. Okay. It's something you have to constantly work on. You constantly have to tell yourself you're good enough and it's fucking exhausting, but that's just what people do. Unless you're a sociopath, if you're a sociopath and you don't have to worry about any of this and your life is great and you get everything you've ever wanted but for those of us who have fucking empathy and shit, <laughs> like we have to work on this all the fucking time. Okay. Now there, there's a, uh, there's light at the end of the tunnel here, guys. Hang on. We continue the, the mentorship call and um, we're like just going through like what he wants to do and different ways he can do it. And, what would be the best way and all this other stuff. He, I don't know if he brought it up or if I brought it up. His artwork came up because one of his first loves was comics. And he used to draw comics and shit. I fucking kind of remember him saying that like, that was like a really hard industry to get into. Like the pay isn't really that good, but it was something that he loved to do. So I said like, hey, like not saying you have to do this, but since that's something that you feel like strongly about, like, and it would be something really good to set you apart. Would you like, do you think you can illustrate your own poetry chat books? And he's like, oh, no, I wouldn't do that. No, 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 no. And I'm like, oh, okay. Well, like, you don't have to, obviously. But I'm just saying, like, you know, it might be something that is, like, really cool and really different. Considering, I don't know how this part came up, but it was like, like, what, it, it came up like, oh, would you feel better charging for your work if you had your artwork in it, too? And he's like, well, yeah. You know, and like it, it was like this weird switch where suddenly his art was something that he felt comfortable asking money for, whereas his verse, his prose, like his writing is not something that he felt comfortable asking for money for. So the idea here was, was, okay, well, if you want to do this and you want to get like and you want to sell books if you feel more comfortable asking for money for shit if you have your artwork in it why don't you just put your artwork in it and then you are charging people for your poetry and you feel okay about it and it was kind of one of those like oh shit kind of moments like it was like and I think he said, I see what you did there. <laughs> so it was just, it was kind of funny. But my challenge to you, okay, to you watching this right now, if you are one of these people who feel like they cannot possibly ask for money for your poetry, okay, for whatever fucking reason, okay, if you are one of these people, if there's anything else that you know how to do that you feel comfortable charging people for and you have in the past, maybe think about trying to incorporate that. So like, like let's say you weave placemats, okay? Sure, all right? You, you make placemats in your spare time just for fun. Okay, and you sell these at farmer's markets or something. Why don't you try putting your poetry on these placemats and charge it? And even if you like are really just selling a placemat and no one's really buying it because there's poetry on it, eventually if you sell enough of these placemats, you're going to realize in your head, like, oh, 
it's okay to charge people for my poetry because I was selling it on my placemats. You see what I'm saying? So if you make coasters, if you have a, I don't know, like a fucking red bubble t-shirt shop and you like sell like print on demand t-shirts and mugs, start putting your poems on t-shirts and mugs. If that makes you feel like that's something worth a damn just to try to trick yourself into thinking that maybe it's okay to charge people for your art. Okay. Now, some of you might be thinking to yourself, especially if you're someone who just showed up here and like, you're not really familiar with the channel. Like, why the fuck is he talking about making money from his poetry? Da, 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 da. That's kind of fucked up and all this other shit. Whatever, that's fine. The, the deal is, is that I make money from my poetry. A lot of people watch this channel because they are poets or writers and want to learn how to make money off of their poetry and off of their writing. So that is why... I mean, I, I doubt if you're that pissed off about this topic, I doubt you're still watching this video. But that's why, because a lot of the people who watch this leave me comments, send me emails, book sessions with me. I point to the kitchen because that's usually where I'm at. Book sessions with me to talk about this stuff and figure out how to fucking do it. So I'm not saying you have to do it, but I think the, oh, like, beyond everything we've been talking about, the main issue, the main problem that we need to like address head on is why do you think that you're not good enough? Okay? You have to believe in yourself. Because I'm going to fucking drop a fucking truth bomb the size of a fucking small planet on you right now. You are going to care more about your work than any other fucking person on the planet, at least for a while, until you cultivate your audience and have like really diehard true fans. But you are going to be the one to force yourself to write, to force yourself to sit down, to sacrifice things so you can sit down and do the work, okay? No one else is going to care that much. So you have to ask yourself a question and have a big ass come to Jesus moment and say, am I good enough to do this? The answer is yes, but you need to be able to answer that, okay? You need to be able to look in the mirror and say, fuck yes, I am good enough to fucking do this and then do the fucking thing, okay? I am going to be at the um, Bombay Beach Lit Fest on March 23rd, okay? And I'm gonna be on a panel talking about the history of zines and chapbooks, and I'm gonna do a little reading and probably share some of my zines that I made over the years and stuff like that up on like a PowerPoint fucking thing. I, I really don't understand how it works. But, and I'm also gonna be selling a bunch of my shit there and um, it'll be fun. Like you'll get to see me if you are in like the Palm Springs, Desert Springs, Salton Sea, that's poisonous by the way, area. So come out and see me there. If you haven't told somebody about this channel that you think would benefit from this channel, please do that. That's a good way to spread this like herpes to everybody, okay? We are almost at 2,000 subs, which is great. I'm really excited about it. And probably um, by the time this video goes up, or I don't know, maybe on Monday, the new tiers for the membership are gonna pop up. So there's gonna be two more tiers added that are going to be more uh, mentorship calls and um, whether it's monthly or weekly and uh, writing workshops and I also am going to start doing um, another Anarchy Crew writing session thing but this is only going to be once a month. We'll do it for probably depending on how many people are in the crew like one of the reasons why 
it started going crazy and all over the place was because there were so many people in the Anarchy crew, but only so many people who could come at that time. So how it's going to go now is I'm just going to have a um, set time every month so everybody knows exactly like, oh, it's going to be like the second Friday of the month or something fucking like that, like whatever that is. That's how it's going to be, and it's probably going to be in the evening um, at least here so most people domestically will be able to do it and then international folks if i get enough international folks signing up maybe i'll do a separate one for international people that's at a more like beneficial time for everybody but again i need the signups to do it with that said my new chat book is not out yet I was putting it together and I'm not going to drop the title because it's going to be, it's going to be an iffy one. And um, I think I might lose some subs over it, but we're trying to get to 2000. So don't leave yet. Like, let's get there first. Okay. So, um, and if, for those of you who don't know how to join the Anarchy Crew or Chapic of the Month Club or the Thank You Crew or anything like that, if you click the join button under this video, it'll take you to a thing and you'll be able to see it. And hopefully by the time you watch this, instead of just the three tiers, there'll be the five tiers and you can pick which one of those you want. Okay. So again, look in the mirror and tell yourself that you are good enough to do this. Okay. And when you're done with that, type hard and I will talk to you all later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. Thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.